Hey guys, Mark here. I uh, just wanted to give you a little tip that may make learning to fly just a little bit easier uh, in the beginning here. Um, so now you can see here I've got my honeybee and the honeybee transmitter. And what I'm talking about is on the transmitter, the throttle stick has got a ratchet action, meaning there's these little notches so that when you move your throttle stick up and down, it goes in these notches. Well, when you're flying inside, a lot of times you're going to find that you're kind of going between two notches to try to get your helicopter to stay in a steady hover. A lot of times what you're going to need is to be right in the middle of the two notches. So a good thing to do is to get rid of that ratchet action. And this is really easy to accomplish and this actually applies to most transmitters that have this ratchet action like the Belt CP, you know, pretty much all the eSky transmitters uh, whether it's 2.4 gigahertz or the FM or the AM versions, it's all the same. Um, and again, you don't really need anything special, you just need a Phillips head screwdriver. And I've got two different size Phillips head screwdrivers, but depending on yours, you may only need one. So anyways, this starts off with taking off the back of the transmitter. Alright, so I went ahead and I took the batteries out. Now to take off the back of the transmitter, you've only got four screws. you got one here, one there, one there, and one there. So after you take those four screws out, now what you're going to do is you're going to spread apart the transmitter. Now you need to be careful because there's wires on the back part and you don't want to stretch them. See? Alright, now I'm going to unplug this so I can kind of swing this further out of the way here. Now what we're going to be paying attention to is this silver tab right here. Alright, so you can see the silver tab closer. Now this is the back of the throttle stick. Now the silver tab, it's got a little indent on it, and on the back of the throttle stick here, this little ridge, it's got little notches on it. And that little indent rides in those notches and gives the throttle stick its ratchet action. So to solve this, all you gotta do is take this silver part off, switch it around, put it back on, and when you got this flipped over, you do want to bend this tab down just a little bit and then get it positioned up on this little ridge right here. Uh, and this is so that you get a little resistance when you're moving your throttle stick. But like I said, this is going to make it uh, maintaining a steady hover just a little bit easier not having to deal with that ratchet action. So now I'm just going to go ahead and put everything back together and be good to go.